What's up guys and today we're talking about peripherals and we are talking about computer peripherals so as you see in front of me, I have a keyboard. This is a standard keyboard that came with my Asus Gaming desktop, and it's a nice keyboard. Uh, the keys, great responsiveness, volume control. I like the knob, I'm a fan of the knob. But the only issue with this keyboard is this annoying string cord that's attached to it, keeping me pretty much stationary when it comes to using this keyboard. Um, I, I can't connect it to other devices. Um, it's plugging straight into this desktop. If I want to take it somewhere, I got to make sure that device has a USB port for this keyboard. So we're changing the ball game. We're going wireless. That's what we're doing. So here we go. This is the keyboard I got. I, I didn't, I didn't really want to throw it. I don't, I don't have that kind of money to just throw keyboards. I'm gonna place it over here. Okay, this is the keyboard. It is the Logitech K750 Solar. This is a solar keyboard. No batteries required as long as you got some sunlight. Got some beautiful sunlight in here. And um, pretty much it. Pretty much, that's all, you, that's all you need. You just need some sun and a Bluetooth connection. So let's get unboxing. I need my knife. Okay, so the packaging itself it's got this like matte finish to it. I like it and a little bit, it's got matte and glossy. It's got the best of both worlds. So one thing to note about this keyboard, on the box specifically, it addresses that it is a Windows keyboard. So I'm not sure the compatibility um, with Mac for this keyboard, but don't fret, they make a Mac version of this. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox this. So here are some of the specs that go along with the keyboard. Powered by light, works in daylight, lamp light, no light, stays charged for up to three months. That's a long time without having to um, worry about batteries or recharging this thing. Um, and that's for in total darkness. So essentially this is never gonna run out of battery. Considering that when you're using the keyboard, odds are it's with your computer and you have monitors, maybe you got one, maybe you got two, and the brightness from those monitors are giving energy to the keyboard itself. So unless something happens to the battery and it completely just craps out on you, looks like you're, you're never gonna need to charge this thing up or add a battery to it. So it has an ultra slim stylish design. Looks like the keys are low profile. So for gaming, it's probably not your best um, keyboard to use, but it probably gets the job done anyway. So if you're looking for solar power, stay in green, but you still want to game, this might be the keyboard for you. Quiet, comfortable typing. So not a lot of loud clicks while you're typing. And I know some people like that tactile, loud, clicky sound with their keyboard. So if that's you, this isn't the keyboard for you. Powerful, reliable connection. No delays or dropouts. Get all the benefits of a cord with the convenience of wireless at 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah, and so that's pretty much everything for the keyboard go ahead and toss that out of here I can see I can throw the box there's nothing nothing in the box don't don't throw keyboards un unless that's what you do I wouldn't advise it all right so let's open this up it's got a cardboard it's got like a tab that's in there I'm not faking this this is kind of in there and I, I'm not a fan of ripping boxes in case I want to like package it up and sell it again so is there tape somewhere am I missing something I got it I got it just just a little bit of tears we're okay we're fine just a little just a little bit of tears no who's gonna notice that all right going forward we got some safety information that no nobody ever reads so I'm glad I'm glad they include it though legal purposes ah okay so you have your USB dongle for the keyboard this is how it will connect wirelessly to your desktop or your laptop or um, any device that you're using. I had a rant in the beginning of the video where I was like, oh, the USB on that, I can't take it anywhere. Looks like I still need USB. But that's okay. Um, but I wonder if you can just connect it without using USB. So here's the keyboard itself. Super low, like that is, that's, Thin. I'm, I'm not even in the keyboard yet. Got some nice tissue paper. Okay, that is thin. Look at that. Look how thin we are talking about, people. That is crazy thin. That is a thin keyboard. Hello. 
You excited about this new keyboard? It does have stands on the back, so you can stand it up, get the angle you want. Oh, wow. So the keyboard itself has like a glossy finish to it. You can see how shiny it is. You can see the camera there and the, my view from my apartment. Um, so this is going to be your power button. And this indicator here, it's got like a frowny, smiley faces here. And I think that's your battery light indicator saying, hey, give this thing some sun. It needs to juice up. You're running low on battery. I got it. I, they say it's, it's not clicky. It's got some click to it. I like the click. I do. I do. It's low profile. If that's what you're into, it's got your function keys um, to pause and play and turn the volume up, turn the volume down, um, go home, calculator, all those sorts of things, number pad. I think it's the real deal. It's, it's the all-in-one package. So if you're looking for a keyboard, you want to save some money, you want to be green, I think this is a keyboard for you. Go ahead and check out the links below. I'll post it where I got it from. Um, don't forget, always price match. And thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button just for Copper. I mean, he needs some love. So thank you, guys, and we'll see you next time.